Let's go, baby. Game one, baby. Let's keep going, boys. So the Twins four and the Kansas City Royals one. Twins one and all. It feels really cool. Uh, you know, I, at some point, sometimes I go to bed thinking that, you know, like it's not even real. You know, I grew up idolizing him, watching him pitch and dominate. And not only that, but also being a tremendous human being, you know, such a gentleman on and off the field. And I've said that many times because now that I've gone to interaction with him during spring training camp, and I've gone to like pick his brain even more, you know, like that statement is as true as he gets. You know, he's such a great human being. He's always willing to help. And I can only imagine how he was in a locker room when he, when he was a player. He's a great kid. You know, he he's always willing to learn. Uh, he's uh, He takes care of himself really well. And then uh, as a Venezuelan, I'm very proud of him, you know, because he's, uh, he's an icon now for, for, for us. You know, Pablo has so many gifts uh, and in so many different ways. We can talk about the on-field side, but let me start with the other side. He is truly one of those teammates who every person in that room looks up to. He, he cares about every teammate, he shows up for them, he's there. Whether it's signing an autograph for the last kid down the line or it's um, being the first person to the clubhouse every day and opening up the weight room most days. He sets the tone and the example for everything we want a Minnesota Twin to be about. The thing with him is that he studied the game, he pays attention, you know, so, and he listens and he, he performs. Just to belong to the same organization that he did at one point, and then just to have little honors like being open, opening day starter, something that he did many, many times, you know, throughout his career means a lot to me. He knows exactly what it takes, and of course, he has to have that leadership, you know, going forward to, to, to lead this team, you know, into something very special. I'm very excited. Yeah. It is a new season of baseball here in 2024, and man, what weather we have today in Kansas City. It is game one of the season, game one of a three-game series as the Minnesota Twins take on the Kansas City Royals. Having a lot of the players that we had in 2023, having them back in our in our locker room, in our clubhouse, is a, is a big thing. You know, you always want to have that presence of success in the locker room. You're looking forward to it for so long. Um, uh, you're thinking about all types of things. Every team is a new team, so you're never going in totally comfortable with exactly what's going to happen and what you're going to do. You can think you know what's going to happen, but you never really know. As starters, we have a really, really important job, which is like setting the tone. First game of the season, like it's that same mentality. You want to set the tone for the season. You want to show everyone this is who the Minnesota Twins as a pitching staff are. And the 0-2. A swing and a drive into left field and deep. Back it goes and gone! Royce Lewis, welcome to 2024! One and two on Korean. Margot at second, Lewis at first. And that's a fair ball down the left field line. Margot will score. Uh -oh. Lewis is held by Tommy Watkins, but Lewis is limping as he rounded third base. Obviously, and very difficult Tommy. situation seeing him come off the field like that. Um, he just continues to just produce and produce. It's pretty amazing, actually, uh, to come out here and start a season like that. I think I'm just smiling because I was blessed to play. It's my first opening day, right? So uh, I just look at all the positives. Like I said, you know, I had a beautiful time watching the plane fly over. I don't even know what that was. I've never seen that before. It was like a superhero movie. And then uh, the fireworks and uh, seeing all my teammates and standing next to Carlos and Buck who are two of my idols. Uh, I you can't, it can't get any better than that. I was just smiling out there and having a great time. Where does your positivity come from? Uh, the support, my family, uh, my faith in Jesus Christ, and uh, my teammates, honestly. I could tell that they, you know, they love and care about me, and uh, I just listen to the wisdom and their guidance and uh, enjoy the game of baseball like I have since I was a little kid.
it's good to be back. Yeah. I'm trying to get a sponsorship from Aloe, so if you can get all the logos on there, that'd be great. <laughs> Let's go, baby. What do you think? Right at home. Let's get it. I'm really excited. Uh, it's good to be back here uh, in Minnesota. I'm excited to see uh, the field again, the fans, and uh, just the whole atmosphere, really. Everybody, here we go! Going in! Well, welcome to Target Field, where a nearly sold out crowd is on its feet in anticipation of not only the home opener here in 2024, but also a ceremonial first pitch from our legendary counterpart to Grimmer that will be caught by Cooperstown bound Joe Maurer. There's a lot going on at Target Field today, and oh yeah, there's going to be a baseball game as well. Peace the world, man. Peace the world. My mentality was aggressive in the zone. If I found myself in an opportunity to go for it, I was going to go for it. And so, you know, there were some 0-2 pitches that maybe then I was trying to be too fan, fine with, but for the most part was in the zone, quality in the zone, quick outs, get yourself out. And, you know, then that fourth inning, I was still trying to be aggressive in the zone, but then, you know, like their approach didn't change and both were put in play. In these types of games, it's literally their job to keep us in the game and that's what they did. Cody really settled down by the end of his outing. I thought he was throwing the ball really well. Um, Cole came in and did a nice job too. So uh, that's what our guys need to do. We were in the game the whole game. I mean, even when uh, it's not feeling good because, you know, the enthusiasm in the dugout a lot of the times comes from how we're swinging the bats, you know, and when you don't have those consistent ABs, it's hard to get that, that momentum going in your direction. But we were in it the whole time. Um, truly one swing away from, uh, you know, having a tie game or having the lead.